You still feel in love? Yeah, a little bit. Are you sure you should be training? I have to. Thanks. Tara. Yeah? Go easy on yourself, okay? I will. Love you. Love you too. Six twenty-five. You're progressing. That's the main thing. You we'll get there. James. Isn't it the 15th? It's the fucking 13th and you know it. You can't be missing payments. I know, I'm sorry. I have some money coming in tomorrow. I'll bring it straight over. You're oh, fucking right, you will. You have a little trip planned, huh? <laughs> Look, we hope you're watching where our money's going. It's not like yeah, that. It's not like that. I'm going to be back in two days. If you don't have that fucking money, I'm going to fucking butcher you. Do you understand? Yeah. Of course. Can you imagine living there? I'd be afraid of getting shot. I'd be afraid of everything. I'd freak out any time anyone looked at me. <laughs> Do you ever see those documentaries where, like, the boyfriend knocks on the door and just kills him? Mm, very grim. 
I'd never be in a relationship over there. Not a hope. I'd be constantly shitting myself. Well, you might risk it for me getting out of here. That's true. We should go on a trip someday. To where? America. Oh yeah, that'd be unreal, <laughs> wouldn't it? So? Are you getting ready for this party? No, I have training in the morning, remember? Again? What time? Six. So that's perfect, you can go straight there from the party. No, I'm still feeling really shit anyway. I need to rest. Uh, no, what you need is a ride. Shut up, Christine. How long has it been? Not that long. Like a few weeks? A few months? A few months. Fuck's sake, Tara. <laughs> what, like I have the time? Wait, how long have you been feeling like that? I don't know, like a few weeks maybe. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? You don't think? Yeah. No. There's no way. Here, get your jacket. Hi, can I get this and the pregnancy test, please? Yeah, no problem. It's gotta be fifteen fifty. I don't know who or what that was, but that is not Tara Brennan. I know, I'm sorry. I'm having an off day. We are five weeks away from the Nationals. I know. I'm sorry. Look, we're in this together, okay? You've trained your whole life for this. But the reality is half a second is the difference between you getting everything you've ever wanted or watching somebody else get it on TV.
Hey man, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. So what's wrong with it? I don't know, it's uh, making some crazy noise. Look, don't worry about that. They ask the questions, you just have to answer them. Tyler Brennan? Come on. Under Irish law, I have to make you aware of all your options when you're pregnant. So this is not to influence you in any way. This final decision is completely up to you. But we have to make sure that you're aware of all the options. And these include going ahead with the pregnancy, opting for adoption, or to have a termination. Tara, can I ask what age you are? 18. And how did you discover that you were pregnant? Did you do a test or see a GP? I did a test last night. So you're still in shock. So this will help us figure out how far along you are. So can you tell me the date of your last period, give or take a day or two? Start of January, I think. So if that's the case, then you are about 10 weeks pregnant. Are you in school? Yeah, leave and start. And do you work as well? Uh, I'm a swimmer, so I train most days. I don't really have time for a job. She's on her way to the Olympics. Mm, impressive. And what about support? Are you in a relationship? No. What about home? Do you have support there? Not with this, no. Just a really good friend here then. So if you were gonna talk about some of the things going through your mind right now, what would those be? That's what I'm here for. I don't know. It kind of just feels like everything's turned off. Like I'm on autopilot just doing things. I can't think about anything else. Have you given some thought to your decision? Yeah. I don't think I'm ready to be a mother. There's so much that I still want to do, and I just don't think it's the right time. I think I just want it to go away. What are my options for that? For termination? Well, Due to the stage of your pregnancy, you'd have to have a surgical procedure if you opt for termination. What about money like? Is it expensive? The procedure itself is about 600 euro. And then obviously you have to leave Ireland, so including flights, it can come to about 1,000 euro overall, depending on where you go. What? How can like a young girl pay for that? That's ridiculous. I know, but it's one of the things you'll have to factor in. Look, I'm sure that the last thing you want to be thinking about right now is money. So my advice is to take some more time and really consider this decision carefully. Can you recommend any clinics? Under Irish law, we absolutely cannot recommend any clinics. But... <sighs> Here are some of the ones in the UK and the Netherlands that we know to be safe. You can contact them for more information if you wish. Like you said earlier, you're still in shock. So maybe get clear of that before you make any final decision. I'm here to help with whatever choice you do decide to make and no decision is right or wrong. How long should we take? Mm, just a couple of days. I need to ask you something. Is there any way you can pay me for this now? You don't even know what's wrong with it yet. I'm in a bit of a situation. You remember the loan I took out? 
the one for the investigator? I told you that was a bad idea. But it wasn't. Because I got an address, man. I know where Emily is. This isn't healthy, man. She's in Amsterdam. I was meant to go over, but they came to my flat and took my passport. Now I can't leave until I pay them back. How much do you owe? How much? Eight grand. Plus interest. Fuck's sake. We are broke too, man. It's Sarah's birthday party tomorrow. We can't even get her the present she wants. Sarah's birthday tomorrow? Yeah. You should pop over for a beat. Yeah, I might. Law is gonna fucking kill me. There's a few hundreds there, uh, but they'll be okay for now. I appreciate it. It means a lot. You don't even look pregnant, if that's any consolation. What are you gonna do? I don't know. How much money do you have? I have about 200 euros saved up from swim lessons. I can pitch in about 100, but that's all I got. Thanks. Why don't you ask your dad for the rest? Laura was my age when she got pregnant. My dad hasn't spoken to her since then. That was different. How? Because Laura moved out with a fella that was 10 years older than her. Don't be stupid. You don't have to tell your dad what the money's for. It's not an option. So how are you going to get it then? I'm going to ask Laura. Ah, uh, and like she'll have it. No harm to her, like. Well, it's either that or I sell my man's jewellery. No, I don't even think about doing that. Who's the father for fuck's sake? Get him to pay for it. Some fella I met at a swim meet who I'm probably never going to see again. And you sure it's him? It has to be. This is so fucked. Here, come on. Look, you've gotten through so much more than this. You figure it out like you always do. This is nothing. Bon appetit. What's this? I was reading an article in the magazine about this brand new diet for athletes. All the swimmers are eating it. Michael Phelps eats it. Don't worry, there's no banned substances. <laughs> it's all natural. It's full of nutrients and vitamins. Try it. My little Olympian. What do you think? It doesn't really taste of anything. I'll have some too. Uh, solidarity. Mmm. I feel stronger already. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. Hey, I've been thinking. We haven't been to the cinema in a while. How about we go tomorrow night? No, I can't. 
Why are you training? It's not that. So what is it then? I'm heading over to Laura's for Sarah's birthday tomorrow. Oh. Why don't you come? I don't think that's a good idea. But I'll send a card though. That would be nice. Or you could just come. I don't want to cause any problems. There's only going to be problems if you create them. Mark's not going to be looking for trouble. It's his daughter's birthday party. Yeah, well, he's not too keen on me. And well, it's maybe just... it's not just about you, though. Are you sure you're OK? Yes, I'm fine. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good to see you. Right, what are we drinking? Um, have you got any wine? I do indeed. Tara? Water is fine. Okay. Hello, birthday girl. Here you go. Happy birthday. Thank you. No, it wasn't. And uh, Dad sends this. A card. Wow. He's stepping up his game. Do all this by yourself? It looks mad expensive. Yeah, well, I want Sarah's parties to be as good as the rest of them, and they're unreal, so. I had no idea the kids' parties were so expensive. Oh my God, you should see what the other moms do. I mean, the last one had performers, a bouncing castle. How'd you get one? Did I fuck Christine Jesus? Here's pizza. Hey, Mark. Hiya. No, thanks. Thanks. Oops. Sorry. No, thank you. So what did you guys get, Sarah? Well, we haven't actually got her present yet, but um, she wants a bike. That's deadly. Yeah, Mark found a pretty decent second-hand one. We just have to wait until the next month's paychecks come in. And Sarah's OK with that? Oh, my God, wait until you see the presents these kids bring. She'll be grand. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know him or something? Kind of. So when are you going to ask her? I don't know. What the hell is he doing here? Laura, he's fine. We talked about this. I didn't think he would actually come, OK? Look, if he does anything weird, he's out, OK?
It's an ant farm. It's for me and Emily. What does it do? You just put the queen ant in and she lays the eggs for all the worker ants. Then you can watch the worker ant build colonies and stuff. It's really cool. But you have to buy the ants separately though. Hey. I'm Tara, Laura's sister. I used to give Emily swim lessons. You probably don't remember, but uh... I remember. It's nice to see you. You too. I liked your present for Sarah. Did you? Yeah. My dad got me an ant farm when I was a kid. They're really cool. They are cool. So how's the swimming been going? What? What about Emily? Is she still swimming? Can't imagine it, no. That's a shame. She was really good. I miss her. Me too. What do you mean? She's been away. I don't understand. Her mom took her on holiday two years ago. They haven't come back. Well, where are they? I hired this fella, this investigator, to find them. He tells me they're in Amsterdam now, but I only just found that out. I don't get it. Isn't that abduction? That's exactly what it is. Well, how can she just take Emily away without your consent? That's the worst part about it. I gave her the consent. I believed her when she said she was just going to visit her parents. So the police can't do anything about it? First they said it was a family matter. Now I finally have a court date, but it keeps getting pushed. Well, at least you know where she is now. You can go get her yourself. I can't do that either. Let's just say my problems don't stop there. James, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. Look, I'll get her back one day. Courts can't delay her forever, and I know I have a solid case. That's not what I'm worried about. So what are you worried about? That you forget about me before that happens. She won't. She's a special girl. Thanks. Tara! Tara, come on! Sorry. It was good to see you, James. Yeah, you too. So, have you asked her yet? Not yet. Why not? It's not that easy. Mark, where's that cash you had from earlier? Um, I don't have it. Okay, well, where is it? I have to wait for the car to get fixed. Where? To James. You gave our money to James? <laughs> Laura. Listen. No, Mark. Oh, hey. Good morning, Charlie. Is Tara ready? Uh, not yet. It's grand, I'll wait. So did you go to the party last night? Yeah, it was fun. All right, um, who, who was all there? All the usual people. Oh yeah, who, who's that? You know, some of Laura's friends, some of the kids' friends. All right, and what are Sarah's friends like? Are they nice to her? Yeah, they're lovely. But then some fella James walked in he was a bit weird. I don't know what the story was with him.
Hey, Mark, it's Tara. I was wondering if you could give me James's number. I really need to talk to him. <laughs> really? Yeah. How big Sarah now? She's about up to here. She's tall enough, like. Really? That big? Yeah. That's great. And um, she got lots of presents. She got loads. That's good. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Bye, Dad. Love you. Uh, yeah, see ya. Bye. Who brings an aunt found at the kid's birthday party? Like, what is up with that fella? <laughs> Are you okay? Will you tell Mr. Ricey I'm gonna be late today? Why? Where are you going? I just, I need to see someone. Now? But the bus will be here in like five minutes. Do you want me to come with you? No, it's okay. Are you sure you're okay? You're acting a bit mad. Yeah, I'm fine. Here, I'll see you later, okay? to talk to you about something. Okay. Come in. Sorry, I don't get much company. That's Emily's favourite experiment. What is it? How does it work? Here, I'll show you. It's really simple. So you just put this flower in the water, add a little bit of this. It takes a few hours. You can turn it any colour you want. Emily gets a great kick out of it. So what's on your mind? Um... Okay. Um... After our conversation last night, I had an idea. Oh, yeah? I was thinking about your situation with Emily, and I think I can help. Do you believe me? Of course. That's refreshing to hear. So what's this idea you've got, then? Um, well, last night you told me that you were scared that Emily was going to forget about you before your court date. Yeah. And that you can't leave to go get her yourself. Well, I can. I can go get her for you. How would that work? Well, I can go over there and I can find her and I can give her something to let her know that you're still out here thinking about her a photo or a letter, whatever you want, to remind her of you. And she knows me and she trusts me and, you know, I travel all the time for swimming anyway. So Tara, it's okay. You don't have to convince me. Okay. Let's do this then. Look, I know you care about Emily, but I'm assuming you'll want something else. I just need the flights paid for and a bit of money for food and a place to stay. How much are we talking? About six or seven hundred euro. You staying at a five star hotel? I really need the money. I have to think about it. There's no time to think about it. Why? Because I can only go this weekend. Look, I appreciate the offer. Genuinely. But I can't part with that kind of money right now. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I was six years old when my mom died. Same age Emily was when she left. And I can barely remember a thing about her. You have my number if you change your mind.
I'm starting to get a bit concerned. It was 65 seconds. I'm trying. I really am. I know you are. But all that matters are those times. Just talk of sending Emma to the Nationals in your place if this keeps up. What? No, you can't do that. I've been training my whole life for that. And so has she. Look, I get it. You're young. You've got stuff going on outside the pool. It's none of my business. But whatever it is, you need to figure it out, yeah? Very well. Promise. I know I will. Sorry, I hope it didn't stir anything up the other night. Couldn't you have just got a hair fucking Barbie or something? Just kidding, turns out Laura is not keen on ends though. <laughs> yeah, I should have guessed that. Uh, what else do I owe you? That's 300. Wait, why was Tara asking for a number? She wants to help out with Emily. I can't let you get her involved in any of that. I won't. Promise me, things are bad enough with me and Laura. I won't, I promise. I'm serious.
better we meet here. I don't want the neighbours getting the wrong ideas, seeing you come and go on. Fair enough. I want to show you something. What's that? I write Emily in it almost every day. It's the only thing that keeps me sane. What kind of stuff do you write? All kinds of things. Invention ideas. My favourite memories of her. Science experiments we'd do together. All the stuff I'd still be teaching her if she was still here. What about the money? Figured that out. There's one thing holding me back. What's that? This is the most important thing I have. I need to trust you. And I need to know you care about Emily as much as you say you do. I do. So tell me, what do you remember most about her? She was a really quick learner. I remember when she first started, she was so afraid of the water. Just like I was. But as soon as she overcame it, she took to it so easily. She was really curious. She asked way more questions than the other kids. She never just did as she was told. I remember one time there was this lad getting picked on and Emily stood up for him. I was very impressed. If we're gonna do this, you can't tell anybody. Not Laura, not your friends. Definitely not Mark. Promise. Should be enough in there. The address is in there too. We'll meet again tomorrow. And I'll give you the journal then. There's one more thing I want to write in it. Of course. Hey, Russell. Where's Tara? Is she on her way? She said she wasn't feeling well today. Oh. Is everything all right with Tara? Yeah, everything's grand. I just must have made a mistake. All right. I'll see you later, OK? See ya. So training went well, then? Yeah. And you got all the money? Yeah. I finally spoke to Laura last night. She agreed to help me out. Why Amsterdam? It's cheaper. And she's definitely giving you all the money? Yeah. Look, Tara, you know, for the first time, I kind of feel like everything's going to be OK. I'm happy for you. It's good. Sarah, your favourite auntie's here. Hey, yeah. Hi, Auntie Tara. I've got a surprise for you. Do you still have that on the farm? Yeah. Okay. Look. You ready? Yeah. What are you doing to my daughter? She loves it. I should have burnt that thing. What is your problem with James? How do you not feel sorry for him after everything he's been through? I do feel for him. Losing a child. Jesus, I don't know how he could go through that. I know. Imagine Mark took Sarah back to Poland one day and you never saw her again. What are you talking about? His wife taking Emily away, illegally. Is that what he told you? 
Yeah. Fuck's sake. I thought you knew. Tara, Emily's gone. Yeah, I know. No, she's gone. Emily's dead. No, she's not. There was an accident a couple of years ago. They were on holiday and apparently James was drinking when he should have been looking after Emily. She drowned. His wife left him and now he's created this fantasy that they're still out there. He can't handle what happened. Who told you that? Why would anybody make that up? He spent so much money trying to find her and... All in his head. And I'm sorry, but I can't have that around Sarah. No matter how harmless he seems. Hey. Hey. You all right? Yeah. Guard this with your life. Please. You sure you're good? I'm grand. Honestly. And you're still into doing this? Yeah. It's just you don't seem as into it as you did the other day. You having second thoughts? What is it? It's nothing. You can trust me. What if Emily's not there? Don't think it's like that. You'll find her. You put your mind to things, you make them happen. But if you're having doubts... No. No, I'm not. Sorry, I'm just having a rough day. I'll find her. I know you will. Tara's friend, right? Christine. Hi, Christine. I'm James. I know who you are. Right, so why the hostility? Why you spend so much time with Tara? We're just... helping each other out. I see. So, you must be the father then. What? Are you the father of her child? Actually, a good friend of mine is a psychologist. Tara was telling me of her struggles with swimming, so I thought I'd help her out. I don't think she wants to be judged by anybody knowing about it. So whatever it is you're talking about, it's got nothing to do with me. So you're not... Nothing to do with me. I'm... Sorry about all this. Don't worry about it. Please don't tell her I said anything. Secret safe. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hey, Dad. How are you? Grant. Oh, um... Laura and Mark are going away for the weekend, so they've asked me to stay over to mind Sarah. Is that cool? Cool. Have fun. Thanks.
Are you ready to order? Uh, I'm still waiting for someone. If I can just ask you about the wine list. Holy fuck. Hi. I thought you'd gone away for the weekend. What? Tara said she was babysitting. Tara told me she was training all weekend. Charlie? Hi. Oh, Hazel, hey. Great to finally meet you. Great to meet you too. <laughs> Um, Hazel, um, this is my daughter, Laura. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. You must be the swimmer he's always talking about. No, I'm just the waitress he never talks about. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse us while we just finish your conversation. Where the fuck is Tara? I have no idea. Hello, Laura. Do you know where Tara is? Aren't you here in Amsterdam? Amsterdam? Yeah. Why would I be in Amsterdam? Hello? You don't know? No. What is she doing in Amsterdam, Christine? But she told me. Told you what? I can't tell. I, I can't tell you, Laura. You better tell me right now what is going on. Laura, she's my best friend. She's my sister. She's on her own. Look, you need to tell me what's going on, Christine. If she's in trouble, I will never forgive you. Now, what is she doing there? I thought you knew. She told me you gave her the money. Oh, Jesus. She never said anything. I'm, I'm sorry, Laura. I thought she had your support. You need to tell me everything. Meet me at my place now. Really? <laughs> That's amazing. I almost guess. <laughs> Charlie, we need to leave now. Why? Do you know where she is? We can't talk about it here. Come on, it's an emergency. Um, Hazel, I'm sorry. We're going to have to do this another time. Oh my god, of course, of course. Uh, is everything all right? It's a family emergency. I'll text you.
Hey. Hey. What's he doing here? Tara's missing, so bury the fucking hatchet until we find her. You as well. Missing from where? Missing, Mark. I don't fucking know. She's in Amsterdam, apparently. Hi. She's gotten so big. Christine? Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Christine, just tell us what you know. I can't believe this has happened. Look, just relax and start at the beginning. And do we know who the father is? Christ. Could he have paid for it? The father? Yeah. She said it was some fella she met at a swim meet. I don't even think he knows. Christine, why didn't you go with her? Because she told me you were going with her. I'm sorry, but... Can't believe she didn't tell me the truth. Are you for real? Look at how you managed it when I got pregnant. Why the fuck would she put herself in your firing line? And that was a mistake, okay? I can't believe she's out there on her own. Charlie, do you want a drink? Yes, please. Do you know when she's going to be back? Sometime tomorrow. I don't get it. Why Amsterdam? She said the flights were cheaper. Should we go to the airport? No, we don't want to scare her. Why don't I give you two uh, lift over to your house? You can wait there for her. Thanks. Make us a cup of tea. So I heard Sarah had a good party. I'm not doing small talk with you. Forget it. Why did you send the card back? Because we're not charity cases. Sarah will be going up soon. How much longer is it going to be like this? So suddenly you're the wise and reasonable one. You can't buy back your daughter or your granddaughter with a fucking card and cheque. It was just a gesture. It was stupid. Why would I give my daughter a card from a complete stranger? You're going on like it was a death notice. It was a birthday card. Take the money 
and spend it on your stupid fucking model cars. Cars have nothing to do with this. I just can't believe you didn't even tell your date that you have two daughters. We just started talking. What do you want me to do? Show her my tax records too? Baby steps, Laura. I don't want to scare this one off too soon. Look, I would have stopped myself that night if I ever thought things would stay this bad between us. You didn't even try to come after me. Because I knew I'd crossed the line. I didn't think you wanted me to. I did. Do you have any idea how hard it's been to not have a father this whole time? But you made it quite clear that if I wanted to have a family with him, I was not welcome in yours. Look, I said some things to you both that I still think about. I didn't mean any of it. I'm sorry, Laura. I really am. Thank you. And they owe Mark an apology too. I always have. Do you think maybe I can see you and Sarah sometime? Take you to the cinema. I trust you, Dad. Go easy on yourself, okay? Look, you've gotten through so much more than this. You figure it out like I always do. Tara, Emily's dead. I need an ambulance. Thank you. 
Sorry. I know I did kind of rat on you, but I just didn't know what was going it's on. It's fine. I don't want to lie to you. That doesn't matter anymore. Thanks. So, do you feel different? I don't know. It just feels like something's missing. That makes sense. Have you talked to your dad yet? Not yet. I'm afraid of what he's going to say. I think he's really angry. He's just glad that you're safe. He only gets angry when his car models break. <laughs> and him and Laura. It's good, isn't it? It's, it's just weird. Here, girl. Yeah. Thanks. Why didn't she come to me? I couldn't. I'd have figured something out, you know that. It's not just about the money. I didn't want to make my problems your problems. I mean, I got myself into it, so... I'm your sister. 
Your problems are supposed to be my problems. No matter what, you should not have gone through that on your own. So where did you get the money? Tara, no more secrets. James gave it to me. For the love of God, tell me he's not the first. What? No, no, of course not. He didn't even know I was pregnant. I told him I was going to Amsterdam to find Emily. What? I did. Laura, I found her. I went to the address James gave me and she was there. And you're sure it was her? I'm positive. And she saw me too. This whole time he's been telling the truth. He's not delusional, he's not crazy. He's just been desperate to get his daughter back. I have to go find him. No, you have to rest. Anyway, James isn't at home. What do you mean? Mark found him really badly beaten. It was over some loan. What? He'll be okay. He's just gonna be in hospital for the next couple of days. Oh my God. I let the two of you talk. Hi. Thanks. Are you holding up? Okay. That's good. So you and Laura? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Wait. I want to say something to you. I understand why you didn't come to me. And I know why you felt you couldn't. But I don't want to make the same mistakes again. And I hope in future you'll be able to come to me with, with any problem. Thank you. Now it's my turn to admit something. For the first time since your mother died, I'm dating. I'm happy for you. Well, thanks. I need you to tell me more about this James fella. I think it can help. I can get used to this. <laughs> Morning, honey. Morning. Feeling good? Great. You hungry? <laughs> yeah. Laura's on the way. Sounds good. <sighs> Dig in.
with her. I'm sorry I left in such a hurry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. I can't thank you, your dad, Laura and Mark enough for getting me out of my situation. When I found out why you needed the money, I couldn't stop thinking about how alone you must have felt as you made that journey. While I can never claim to understand what you went through, I do know what it feels like to be helpless. As the thing you want most gets further and further away. But because of you, I don't have to feel that way anymore. You believed in me when no one else did. And now I'm about to see my daughter again. You've given me something so much more valuable than I could ever describe. I want you to remember that forever. No matter how far you go, or how many gold medals you get. I hope you get everything you want. Just like I did. James. James.